Hello, audience. Hello, judges. How are you? Thank you. It's wonderful to see you again. We met nearly three months ago now. And in that time, you had no idea what I did for a living. Nor did you have any idea of the path that I'd taken to be able to become a stuntman. Or the path that I'd taken to bring me here to this very stage today. So tonight, Alicia and Amanda, you're going to be choosing another dangerous job for me. Simon, you're going to be choosing a path for me to take in life. David, you've got nothing to do for the moment, but you've got something, <laughs> something very important to do in a moment. Oh, OK. You're each going to be given a dice, gentlemen. I want you to have a little look at these dice. Make sure they're not loaded and land on the same number every time. Are you happy with that? Oh, yeah. God. Oh, oh, here we go. I knew she'd drop it. Oh, she's oh. dropped it. I knew she'd drop it. You got it? Yes. David's gone under the table for no reason at all, but there you go. Okay. Get up. Yeah, all good. David. You'd all do it. Okay. Yeah. So, this is what I'd like to do. Roll the dice, hold the dice in your hand, give it a shake, and put it face down on the table, but do not look at the number just yet. Okay. Now, before we get started, are you happy that that was a free choice? Yes. yes. Are you happy that we did not plan this beforehand? Yes. yes. And are you happy that I haven't influenced you in any way whatsoever? Yes. Good. <laughs> Have a little look at the number you've now chosen. Are you all happy with that number? Mm -hmm. Good. You are now going to be given, David, a tray with three envelopes. We have red for Alicia, white for Amanda, and black for Simon. You've also been given a torch. You'll find why in a moment's time. Health and safety has gone mad in this world. Yes. Everybody's job is dangerous, except... Well, everybody's job is dangerous. I mean, even out in Dex. That's it. No, I'm joking. <laughs> but tonight, Alicia, you chose a number. What was the number you chose? Two. Two. Would you open up Alicia's envelope, which is the red envelope, <laughs> and would you just read out from top to bottom all the dangerous jobs that are there? Number one, sniper. Number two, window cleaner. Number three, lion tamer. Number four, policeman. Number five, bomb disposal. And number six, fireman. What was number two? Window cleaner. <laughs> See, window cleaner. That is a dangerous job, especially when you're working at heights. No! <laughs> Amanda, you chose a number. What was the number you chose? It's number three. You're right. Sorry, just got to fix something. Oh. I won't be, I won't what was it, number three? Number three, yeah. Would you open up Amanda's envelope and just read what's next to number three? Number three, electrician. <laughs> you see, electrician, that's also a dangerous job, especially if you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, nice one, Tony. You fused all the lights, mate. You fused all the lights. So, now you know what the torch is for. David, would you just shine it onto the uh, envelope for me? Simon, do you remember the number that you picked? Yeah. What was the number you picked? Number one. Number one. Would you open up? Simon's envelope. Now remember, this is possible paths that we could take. Do me a favour, just read them out from top to bottom. Number one, backward. Number two, forward. Three up, four down, five left, six right. So what was next to number one? Backward. Backwards! I should have got a proper job like my dad. <laughs> but that's not what it's about. It's about the stunts, obviously, but it's about me predicting exactly what was going to happen tonight. David, you were given a tray from the very beginning. Would you do me a favour? Just turn over the tray and just read out what's inscribed in the bottom of that tray. Alicia, window cleaner. Amanda, electrician. Simon, backwards. Yes!
I'm glad that went well. Well done, boys. Well done, you. Good job. Well done, you. Good job, mate.